Okay, I want to do actually a quick follow-up on a problem from the UNSW Integration B 2023 Round 2 Problem 14. We have the integral from 0 to infinity, 1 plus x to the 2023 over 2 plus x to the 2025 dx. Okay, so I already did a video on this recently, and I had a very different looking solution from UNSW Answer Key, which they use the binomial theorem to show it in terms of a series. And I wasn't sure how my solution was equivalent to theirs, and I actually emailed them on that. And it sounds like there may be some errors in the formula in the answer key. So what I wanted to do is kind of try to recreate it and do it the way they did it and see what that solution would be. So for the first step, they do the same thing that I did, which was a u substitution for two plus x. And so du is gonna be two x. And so when we do this, we plug in infinity and we still have infinity for the upper bound. We plug in zero in and our lower bound becomes two. Now to get a value for x plus one, we could just subtract one from both sides and we have u minus one equals one plus x. So we're gonna have here u minus one to the 2023 over u to the 2025. Sorry, this is, sorry, this is kind of ridiculous right here. Let's make this a dx. And now at this point, what I didn't realize was I thought that they were expanding it out after they integrated. They're actually expanding it out right now. So they're taking this piece right here and using the binomial theorem on this. So before I expand this out, let's just look at the binomial theorem real quick. Okay, so we have this formula here we're gonna use, and I'm actually gonna rearrange this u minus one just to set it up more to my liking. I just wanna set this up so we can get the answer in a form. It's gonna be a little easier to deal with or more like the solution. So I'm gonna write this as minus one plus u to the 2023. So our end value is gonna be 2023, so we're summing from k equal to zero to 2023. Then for our coefficient value, we're gonna have 2023 over k. So then our a value is minus one here. So I think that's one thing that was left off the solution. So this is gonna be minus one, 2023 minus k, and then our b value is gonna be u, so we're just gonna have u to the k. But now our integral has this u to the 2025 in it. So what I'm gonna do is divide both sides by u to the 2025. But then from here, what I can do is divide this into the U terms to combine the U terms. So when I rewrite this, let's see what we have. But now at this point, let's just notice that everything over here on the left, including the minus one, which I forgot the exponent. Let's see, this exponent's gonna be 2023 minus K. Sorry, it's getting sloppy there. So everything over here to the left is a constant value. So this is kind of sloppy, but I'm gonna, we can bring everything outside of the integral and just integrate here from two to infinity. So integrating this thing, it's just gonna be power. Let's just see what this is gonna look like. This is gonna be K raising the power. We're gonna have K minus 2024 over K minus 2024. And this thing, of course, is gonna be evaluated from two to infinity, but let me clean this up as I know I've made a complete mess right now. Okay, now in order to finish this off, we're just gonna to need to evaluate this thing. Now, first evaluating at infinity, the thing to notice is K is going from zero to 2023. So even when K is 2023, the exponent's still negative. So what's gonna happen when we plug in infinity, it's actually gonna be in the denominator and this piece is going to zero. So we don't have to worry about the infinity part. So when we plug in two, I'm just gonna bring a minus out here because when we evaluate, we're gonna have the first term minus the second term. And then this is gonna become 2K minus 2024 over K minus 2024. But then when I rewrite this with the series, what's gonna happen is I can write this as a minus one and then combine it with this minus one right here. So when I do that, I can actually write this minus one and just add one on here. So this becomes 2000. So adding one to 2023, we end up with 2024 minus K. But then one other thing I'm noticing just to finish this off is if I maybe reverse the sign here and we bring a minus out front here, this brings minus one into the numerator, but then we've got the same exponent here and here. So we can then combine those two terms. So when I rewrite this, we still have the binomial coefficient up front here 2023, choose K, but then combine the minus one and the minus two, I, I can write this as minus two to the K minus 2024 over K minus 2024. And I think that's about as much simplification as I can get. So we're just gonna box that one and call it good. And so again, I don't know for sure that this is equivalent to my answer or UNSW's answer, but I think this is the method they were using and about how it's supposed to look. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.